Yo, another day, another dollar with yo homeboy Jermaine. And this morning, I'm getting the morning started off in New York again. I'm about to try an Impossible Burger. If you've never heard of an Impossible Burger, it's this burger that is made out of plants. The crazy thing about the Impossible Burger, it actually bleeds. So when you bite into it, like it actually bleeds and it's not from animals. It is made from all plants. So I'm so stoked to go hit up this restaurant and try it. I was Googling online an hour before and I saw that like four days ago they were giving out free samples in San Francisco. Somehow I missed the free samples. The restaurant's just right down the block. I'm about to go hit it up, try out this burger for the first time and I'm super, super, super stoked. I've been waiting quite some time to try this burger. How cool is that? Look at the patty here. Oh my gosh, that feels just like beef. It feels just like beef. It's like even greasy like beef. Let's, uh, let's bite into it. Let's try it out. Alright, here's my first time biting into this bad boy. Let's see what it's like. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that. It's actually bleeding. This is the coolest thing ever. Thanks. Just got done with that burger and uh, I don't really exactly know what I think of it. it it tastes just like a beef burger. Like even when you chew it, like just biting into it doesn't really taste like a beef burger. It tastes like somewhat vegetables or something like that. But when you start to chew it and you taste like the lettuce and the tomatoes, I mean, it tastes just, it reminds me of a beef burger like 100%. Like that's the closest thing to beef I think I've ever had since I stopped eating beef. Really cool. I recommend you guys check it out if you're in the New York area. I'm pretty sure that this style of meat is definitely gonna grow. Just hopped on the bus now. About to go over to the Uber office to get my account switched on so you know I can run around and do a few Uber Eats deliveries in New York and tell you guys how how it is in New York. Yeah, I just had to jump off that bus. Like traffic was not moving and I saw like a lot of people walking much faster than me. So yeah, let's just walk over to the Uber office. It's not that far away. What is going on here? People standing in line to try the clothes and then go in here and see how sweaty they get. Almost at the Uber office. Yo, check out this one. NYC offers free English classes that could help improve your communication skills. And is not paying you what you're worth, then don't work for Uber anymore. That's all you gotta do. But if you think that things are going to change, listen, if you think that things are going to change, then stay with Uber. That's it. We give you the choice. Stay or leave. It's up to you. You see how things are going? My friend, well for those trips. So you can separate. Okay, Okay. so which means is, is that when you do your regular trip, you are happy, smiling, cheesing. When you do an Uber pool, the rider, the rider is happy, smiling, cheesing, which means that there is a balance at that point. Okay? No, you cannot because I'm so not the person. To me. No, because I'm no, not you the one that you're going to gonna debate. You don't know with. anything. No, I do. I know everything. I've been here for a very long time. At the Uber office, man, there's so much stuff going on in there. And I just got hooked up with this food bag. Can't wait to take this back to Cali. It'll definitely come in handy. Stop for some Chinese food here. Just picked up the Uber delivery bag and it's kind of big and awkward. I don't really want to just walk around and carry it, so I came up with this clever idea. To just buy one of these from like TJ Maxx and stick it inside. When I was on the subway, I saw a chick with a bag very similar to this and that's where I got the idea from. Nice, just woke up from a well-deserved nap and it's time to uh, jump on one of these city bikes and see what happens on uber rush slash uber eats in new york right now
spectacular night. It feels so good out here. So nice. Let's uh, jam out and see what happens. Yo, check out this place. Guarded by cops. I wonder why. Super, super weird. I've been online with Uber for an hour now. Not one request have popped up, and I don't know what to expect. Like, is that normal? From what I hear, it was really, really busy around here, and no requests. And I've also haven't noticed any like boost pricing or any like boost heat maps popping up here. The word I heard was it was crazy busy around here in New York, and you can make like 25 bucks an hour on Uber Rush or Uber Eats on a bike. And I was thinking. All right, get out and no requests, nothing like that's going on. I'm done with this. I'm gonna sign off line, go grab some food, go meet up with a friend, go have some drinks, keep vlogging, and that's gonna be my night. I don't really need money. I just kind of wanted to like try it out here. I mean, I made crap loads of money last week. Yo, remember I told you guys earlier I put my um, my food bag inside of here. Well, it's working out great because when I get ready to go out, like it's gonna be inside this bag and it'll just look like. I just went shopping and it won't look like I'm a food delivery guy. If you walk around the city with a food bag, you'll just look like you deliver food. But if you have your food bag inside of another bag, you'll just look like, I don't know, anyone else. I was trying to figure out what's going on down here, but oh yeah, it's that thing. Huh. Just, just listen to the words, okay? okay? Yeah. He said, when you're rich and famous, women will let you do whatever you no, want. Oh, 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 just, just listen. Can you just let me he talk? Said he doesn't ask. Wait, wait, wait. He, he said wait. they will let you do it. Then, do you know what let means? Let is consent. Consent is not rape or abuse. No, 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 no. Hello, hello. If you grab a woman, if you grab a woman by the breast and she does nothing, that is not consent. That's not what he said. He said, I don't wait. I don't, I don't even ask. ask. Literally Literally if you look at the quote, I don't wait. I don't ask. I grab. Never, you guys have never been in a conversation with your girlfriends talking about men and said something about a man small or big or I'm a lesbian, things? so no. But, 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 you've never said, so you've but you're not running for president either. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you've exactly. And Trump is. Like right, but he president. wasn't running for president 11 years ago when he was a 59 year old man. Dang, need a handbag? Maybe I should get one for my girl. Yup, get you a handbag right here in front of Chase Bank. The best bank ever, right? I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Like, I called up Alex. He's like sleeping. He's probably gonna watch this vlog tomorrow and say, "Dang, I should have went out and hung out with Jermaine." Called up Kelsey. She's like, I don't know. I think she's doing something active or something. Like, what is that? She's probably gonna see this vlog tomorrow and say the same thing. Dang, I should have got got. Dang, I should have got back with Jermaine. I'm looking for the city bikes without pulling out my phone and checking the app. And I haven't ran across any, and I've been walking for like 20 minutes. Maybe I'm just not paying that much attention. Finally got a city bike. Let's head to Union Square. Cycling through Times Square, not so bad. <laughs> just made it down to Union Square, and I wonder what's going on over here. It's like the park's all covered up. I'm about to go right down to the, my favorite falafel spot and I'm going to meet up with a subscriber. That's going to be a lot of fun and I don't know, maybe we'll get drinks afterwards. Stealth communications? That's pretty far from stealth if you ask me. I love this place. About to get ready to call it a night. Today has been another fun adventure. Woke up this morning and didn't know I was gonna do all the fun stuff that I did, but it was just super random. The Uber office tripped me out earlier. Like, the guy that was working there was trying to explain to the other guy, look, you know, we don't do this. Like, look, you know, we don't do this. Like, you got this totally wrong. And the guy was just arguing back and forth. And the guy at the Uber office just laid him out, you know? Walking by Donald Trump's hotels and hearing all sorts of, you know, things people had to say and, you know, editing a few of those things out.